Hi, it's Michael from Culture Talk and Tours, and I am here again at Yokoyama Cafe with a new friend, Nikki Camp. Nikki, nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. We were hoping to see Johnny, but he's away on vacation, so we'll have to come back and visit with him soon. Now, Nikki, where are you from? I'm originally from Chicago. Okay. And I um, moved to Taiwan five years ago. Okay. And yeah, so when I go back to the States, I go back and visit Chicago. And I also go to New Mexico because I have family in New Mexico. Wonderful. And, um, but yeah, I've been here for about five years and I love it in Taiwan. And what <laughs> brought you to Taiwan? Was it a job or you wanted to venture? Well, I, I, I'm an international teacher, right? And so I spent two years in Honduras. Oh, wonderful! And then I worked in the U.S. for a few or for a year, and right. then I went to an international job fair, and I got offered a job here in Taiwan. Okay. So I thought I've never been anywhere in Asia, so it's a really good opportunity mm-hmm. to come and try something see, new. Yeah, try something new. Right. And, and where are you working now? I'm working at an international school teaching art. Oh, so you're an art teacher. Yes. She's an art teacher and an artist. Wonderful. Now, we were interviewing Abigail Nelson, and she told me about your work, and she said, you know, you've got to get in touch. (laughs) And just as Abigail was leaving to move back to the States, you were going for summer vacation. But Nikki is back, and she's here to talk with us. Now, I've seen a lot of your work on Instagram. Yes. and Instagram, it's Rosie Rejoicing. Mm-hmm. So we'll post that. You can have a look at our work. And what do you normally work in? Is it paintings, sculpture? So I I love working with watercolor. Oh, okay. And I draw on top of the watercolor, and um, I like embroidery on the paper. Oh, okay. So I love working with watercolor and embroidery and drawing the pen. Okay. I also work a lot in clay, but um, that's mostly at school. Okay. <laughs> um, but when I'm at home, it's lots of painting and, okay. and embroidery. So it's kind of like a mixed media. Yeah. I saw some things you had things coming off of mm. the, the paper. Is it paper or is it canvas that you're... I've, I've mostly used paper. Okay. But I have tried canvas, okay. and it's sometimes it's just playing around with different mediums. Okay. But predominantly, my art is in watercolor paper. And you have some things to yes, show us. Yes, I do. I do. Okay. Let's see. Can I show? Sure. Yeah. All right. Let's see. So I uh, this is an example of just some watercolor. I really Wonderful. like doing layers and doing textures and. Um, yeah, so I lots of layering on this oh, one. Oh, cool. But what I really love doing is, um, I'll show this one, is I like drawing mostly like the female form and I'm um, having different body sh- shapes and sizes and using different kinds of line. But um, with the a bra- embroidery comes in and I am adding hair onto the bodies. Okay. Um, so more of a natural Yeah, woman. more of a, yes. 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 Because okay. I... Can you see that on the camera? Is it showing up there? (laughs) Yes. So that's quite interesting. Yes. I I wanted to create something that um, in in general culture, when we think of like hair on women, it's only on their head. Right. it's uh, any other kind of hair is thought of as like dirty or gross or um, ugly or too much. And I wanted to create images out there of it being elegant or beautiful or associated with more positive words because uh, it seems like in a more western culture it's very kind of taboo if a woman appears on a magazine cover right and showing that she's got some hair on her armpit right. or something yes. right right when in many cultures it's normal and it's, and they don't have time to think <laughs> about you yeah, know what other good. people are thinking yes do you have yes. some other ones yes What's I this do one here? so this one I used some like yarn for crocheting okay. it's a lot fuzzier so I like the I like the texture on that one and, and this is all hearts this is here? all hearts okay. I, I originally started when I was first starting this kind of artwork I would just do super muted wash in the background but then I started playing around a lot more with textures and more bright colors and layering things so I 
yeah, I really love the background. On yeah, this it's one. quite interesting. I yeah. don't know if you can see all the hearts, hearts there, <laughs> and then so you've got it taped on. Yes, yeah, so I've got it taped on the back. Right. I usually tape the back or glue the back. Okay. Uh, this one I've got triangles that I've layered. Um, with the body on top of it. Wonderful. So, yeah. So yeah. You, you're you doing the background and mm -hmm. then you're doing this. Now, yes. a question I'm asking a lot because um, we went to a show yesterday yeah. and uh, the artist had a sketch book and he had mounted the sketches, like ripped out mm -hmm. with the page. So it had matting around which you could buy and then yeah. it was beside a piece that was a big woodcut mm -hmm. print. So you saw the whole process. Yes. Are you doing a sketch first or is this just... No, I do. I have... Okay. Um, so I actually started going to a figure drawing That's my event next question, in class right? okay. when I, like, I found it online and I thought, oh, that'd be really interesting to go to. Right. So I've, I've done some live sketches from people. That's, oh, that's see. a nice one. It's my mom's toes. Oh, look at that. So, yeah. Um, so I remember my mom shaving her toes as a kid. Oh, okay. And so I wanted to do a one with her having hairy toes. Cause and this is your everyday sketchbook? Yes. 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 Okay. So this is an everyday sketchbook. I have uh, two other separate, like, finished pieces of this okay. um, with different colors. But, but let's see, here's some, like, a sketch of, of a body that I would do. And then what I do is I take vellum paper and I trace it and then I can transfer it onto other papers okay. and, um, and then make different backgrounds and different colors and, um, and add hair in different places if I want when I create a separate artwork. Okay, and now yeah. when you have this, do you know that this is going to be the background or do you just have backgrounds ready and then you just try it out? Yeah, sometimes I'll just create something that I think is interesting. like. This took a while because you gotta wait for everything to dry, but right. but then I, I play around and layer the the vellum paper on top and see oh how does this look with this background? Okay. How does this look with that background? And see where it works. So mm -hmm. this one's a heart. This yeah. a triangle. Triangles. And what's this see. one here? That's oh, this one. I just wanted to play around with texture on okay. this one. I I like having the embroidery. Right. Um, but I wanted to see how can I make a hairy kind of texture with. With right. just paint. Right. So And this is could be a background. It could or, be. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's almost looking like water. Yeah, like a sunset. Yeah. Or like the desert. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, either way. It could be it either could way. Go that way. Yeah. So you're taking a sketching class? I have gone. It's like a one time whenever they oh, have it. Okay. Um, and I also use a figure drawing, a figure drawing website. Okay. So yes. do you ever use live model for yourself personally um, in I've, your studio or in your I've workspace? I've drawn myself. Okay. <laughs> um, I've had some friends who are like, if you want to draw me, you can. Oh, so, okay. Fine. So it's, I get my models from different places. Okay. So website, uh, going to a class okay. um, in my life. Right, myself. <laughs> and then imagination as yes. well. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done figure drawing as well, and yeah. there's nothing um, better than a live model. Yes, it's true. Because you can't understand proportions right. and just um, how the body works. Right. You know, yes. it's, it, if you don't have a model. Yes. Now, your subject matter is mostly the female nude? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, no, no male nude? I haven't drawn any males yet right but i'm not opposed to the idea right um but for me when i i started making this art as a way to inspire myself right um and like encourage myself because i i don't shave right um and i so i'm a woman so it just that's you know that's the way it went right <laughs> yeah, that's but the you're way not went. doing landscapes or male nudes or you just are focused on this right now right i do like to do uh vegetables oh, i like okay. to draw vegetables do you have any of those let me see i'm not sure if i have any and you've got vegetables I might have some you've got here. three books here so this i is do this is when i first started okay. and then this is one that i just finished um oh wait here's a a eggplant. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Uh, I, I love eggplant. I like, you know, doing the layers with the watercolors. Same kind of concept. So this, again, but is um, 
First the background. First the background, then adding on. Thank you. Thank adding you. on the the drawing. The, the drawing. Eggplant. And is this you just drew it, or you again had a sketch and then transferred it? I just drew it. You I, just drew it. Yeah, okay. I, I like to. You wanted it you to know. fit into that. Right. That right. shape. Yes. Now yes. my next question is, these things here, are you able to show this? Can you? rip this out and print uh, um, frame it I could I could yeah. cut it out and, and frame it or Here's some doodles just some doodles and, and yeah. some color tests and yes, stuff yes so this is one book this is one book yes and then and what then this is my newest book okay so I really liked doing the um, the colors with the watercolor but this summer I started playing around a lot more with lines yes um, I've been so following you on you. Instagram so we can see that yeah, let's see. so it's Rosie rejoicing yes on Rosie Instagram. Rejoicing. We'll, we'll post that as well so I started playing around with lines in the background oh wonderful and after it's sometimes just playing you can like discover different things that you never thought of right and um, and it brought me to this, which, which and, I... And this size is quite it's manageable. You just put it in your pocket and yeah. when you've got an inspiration or a model or something. Right. And I saw right. you were posting a lot this summer, so you were finding yes. a lot of inspiration home, yes. home in the having, States. Yeah, I yeah. was. Having brain space to, to think about, something think else, about it. Cause something else besides work. <laughs> And do you have anything planned for showing your new project? I would love to do that. Okay. But I don't have anything planned right now. Okay. Yeah. It's the uh, eternal struggle as an artist is always looking for a show. I just had a show at the Mexican trade office in Taipei. Oh, wow, that's amazing. And because my work is very Mexican influenced from mm -hmm. living there. And um, now it's okay, that finished, so now next. Mm -hmm. But then you still want to create new work. Yes. So we'll be in touch. We're friends on Instagram. We'll, we'll work together. I have a few ideas for you right. of somewhere because I think this would be great to see. And also, what about a bigger size? I've got another friend um, who is always working in a notebook or a little sketchbook in a small size and we're trying to get him to go bigger. Bigger. Yeah. Yes. Do you ever do anything a bit bigger? I have done some um, like this size, but for me I need to I need to practice doing that more right. because I've only done a few and getting the proportion right, right. is is something that I need to practice a little bit right, more. Right, because it's, yeah. Yeah, it's like on a, a going different from scale. from this to big, yeah. I think big is awesome. So yeah, would, it I, is yeah, awesome. Like to. And also because it is quite powerful, mm -hmm. the work, and just on a bigger size. Yes. Um, I do like this size too, because you could kind of do a collage mm -hmm. or like a gallery wall just of a bunch of small ones. Right, right. Now, what if it was just more... Um, like just a part, like if it's just a leg or a back, do you have, do any of that? Yes, I, I think so, yes. Because that way you could, this one's lovely too. I don't oh, know if you can see that you. one. Now some of these you did post on Instagram. Yes. So it's a lot of back, and now is this a model or is this just a photo? That was from a figure modeling website okay. I use. That's wonderful. A figure drawing website. And this is good too. And yes, this one makes me laugh. <laughs> and how are you f sourcing this yarn and things? Is it do you go to a yarn it's shop or? A lot of um, oh, this is the up close of a side. Oh, wonderful. Um, but it's I. It's cool to see that. <laughs> the back of it. Yeah, there's the back. Yeah. Wow, this is beautiful too. <laughs> Thank you. So this Thank was you. some time to. Yes, just waiting for things to dry. Because if you don't know watercolor, it's not. It will blend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's not fast. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like a small sketch here, but this took her time. Yes. Yeah, I did some watercolor classes and I switched to acrylic <laughs> real. I actually switched to um, printmaking. Mm, because print, print yeah, is because it's fast to yes. to carve it. Because yes. that's what oh these are great too. Yeah, like oh, yeah, this would be neat if you did the whole thing and yeah. just a whole bunch and just did a all frame the same. Mm -hmm. I'll show you my installation that I did just did for this last show. Yeah, this is great too. 
even just like hands I find are so yeah, interesting are, you know mm -hmm. I did a figure drawing class in Mexico and um, our teacher was sourcing all kinds of um, women from the country so they were farmer ladies so really rough hands yeah. and um, you know strong mm -hmm. and uh, just all different types of bodies so yeah. yeah I really like I like hands and this is your color yes color just test again trying different colors and did and you want to talk about this oh, oh uh, so one of my friends has a podcast called talk about your period right and she just interviews women about their experience with their period right um, just because it's not something that you talk about in no. general with people it's not uh, and a lot of times like I think women feel like they can't talk about it yeah. um, even though it's something they experience every month yeah and it's um, a natural thing it's a natural thing yes. and so she's just working to make it more or less of a stigma and it inspired I saw you had some work do you have yes. any examples of that I do have some examples of that so Let's Nikki see. was home in the States I think where was that in New Mexico that you in New Mexico I did a lot yeah, of I this. was following you on um, Instagram this summer and I thought that that was a really powerful statement so it was good that you were supporting your friend Thank in you. that yeah. so she had the podcast and she mm -hmm. had you had a t-shirt yes. and a water bottle mm -hmm. or something um, yeah. maybe Nikki can send me that picture and we'll add yeah, it to this um, when we do the editing but I saw that you it was kind of inspiring you to do were those watercolors as well? Yes, they were watercolors. And oh, here we go. So I've done a few, like just lots of layers of talk like about red. Your talk about your period. period. Okay, so it's obviously going to be red. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I did some other pieces. I did not bring them today. Okay. But send me some I pictures will. and then we'll yeah. add it to this. Yeah. But I think that would be really cool if it's just a little section of, you know, it doesn't have to be one theme you can right. have a couple things yes things in um a show but abigail is a fabulous artist as well and um annie lima the artist who we interviewed here as well they both were talking about your work um i didn't realize you were an art teacher mm -hmm. which makes sense so yes. you're getting to have this experience mm -hmm. all the time yes yes yeah. i love uh I love helping people foster their creativity. Yeah. So, and um, it's a and it's a good way to, you know, be able to get this out. Yes. Because if you are an artist, I've been a teacher for 20 years, and I kind of put the art yeah. aside. But I've always been creative because mm -hmm. I've been a, a young children teacher. So you're able to be creative with yes. events and things. So right. I think it's just wonderful. I love watercolor. And again, if you haven't done watercolor, I think Abigail was starting to do some watercolor. Mm -hmm. Was she doing yes, that with you? Yes, she was. Uh, watercolor and gouache. Yes, mm -hmm. it is difficult. Yes. Um, and in fact, uh, the show that I did at the Mexican uh, trade office, the, um, the wife of the director of the office, she was taking a Chinese ink painting class and oh. she's doing fish and uh, I'll amazing. show you some pictures yeah, yeah. but she just said it's like six hours you know you're practicing practicing yes. so it's a lot of work and to go bigger it's a lot of work yes. and are you just using your paper from your notebooks or do you I used to use that to cotton paper from arches like from France mm -hmm. or something do you have a special I do paper it's, you like it comes on it comes on a pad that um, that's like they're all stuck so, together. So great if you can see that one. I love how it's the what do they call the, the ombre the value yeah, scale yeah. or ombre. Yeah, yeah, I love that. But it's it's really nice watercolor paper, but I don't know what the brand is brand called. Is, okay. I use a lot of hot press paper. Right. Uh, this one's cold press, so you can see. I don't know if the video it's can see. It's more texture. It's definitely more one. texture, yeah. but the texture soaks up the water a little more. Yes, it does. But for drawing with the fine lines of yeah, the marker, the this. hot press is better. And then also I find that this changes it a little bit. Like mm -hmm. if you did want texture of trees or water, okay. Yeah. But if you did it on this, it would be too rough. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I'm so pleased that we were able to put yes. this together mm -hmm. because you were busy, you got to have a summer vacation. Yes. yes. And now, you, now you're working. So we're gonna talk, we're gonna try to get you a show somewhere. 
and then if you ever have something, we'll come and cover that as well. Just Sounds like, um, and and Nikki, you're friends with Ty Martin, mm-hmm. so we went to see his show at Lake Gallery, um, and we're hoping to see his studio. He's always coming up with oh, stuff, yeah, he is. stuff as well. So we'll follow you. You follow me. Yes. And um, we hope to see bigger, and we hope to see a show of all of this because I think it's great and I've got some friends that are already interested in this and even if we, you did something smaller if it was a card mm-hmm. or why can't it be a, a, a card that you send to friends when they're having a you know a couple of days where they don't feel so right. great because right. I have a lot of friends at school at work and they'll be like I'm having my time right now and mm-hmm. you know so we go out for lunch or Right. We go relaxing. have a chocolate bar or something, you know. So yes. be supportive of those ladies in your life because they're going through stuff. I love your earrings too. Oh, thank you. Thank did you, you make those? I did not make no, these. No, no. And you've got lots of tattoos. I do. Did you design these as well? I have. There's an artist or tattoo artist in Taipei. Right. She does amazing flower tattoos. Okay. So when I saw her work, I just thought. Anything I get from her is going to be gorgeous. Right. So she did this one and then this one. Okay. Yeah. So you yeah. Did, you didn't draw it? No. I just told her that. Because I think Abigail designed some of her tattoos, mm-hmm. didn't she? Yeah, she did. Yeah. yeah. So she's yeah, got creativity saying. all over her. Well, it's wonderful to meet you. Nice and to meet you. again, on Instagram, it's Rosie Rejoicing with Nikki Camp. And again, we hope to see this up on the wall and we hope to see it bigger and brighter and more of it soon. Good? Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. So follow Nikki Camp at Rosie Rejoicing and we'll see you on the next episode.